Good evening, folks. It's Diamond with the Oppenheimer Ranch Project, Magnetic Reversal News, and Shinrin Yoku bringing you a space weather news update Tuesday, August 30th, around 9.30 p.m. Mountain Time, 2022. You're looking at the last three days on the sun from Lasco C2, and you can see how many coronal mass ejections have just shot off of our solar disk there. And most of them are coming from AR3088. Which is now located well behind the southwest limb. Flaring is still being detected at very high levels. And a fairly large eruption beginning after 18 UTC was observed. And solar x-rays are currently above the M2 level. The event itself was likely much larger well up into the x-range. And this is due to the flare site being well out of direct view. So this is a quite an interesting spot here. Here's the large far side eruption in CME around active region 3088. And here is the model from ISWA showing this massive flare shooting off, thankfully, directly away from Earth. Now, Earth just dodged a lot of CMEs. It seemed like uh, sunspot AR3088 would never stop exploding. And it was exploding the entire time I was away, so it was kind of freaking me out. Like, what is the, what is the universe trying to tell me here? Over the past four days, this strangely magnetized active region produced more than a dozen M flares. An event like this hasn't happened in recent memory. So this is quite a unique event as we roll into Solar Max over the next year or so, which we predicted would be a game-changing year. By 2023, in the summer, we call it the summer of bummer. We think there's going to be massive grid failure events. So that's our prediction from years ago, seven or more, and that's the same prediction we stick with today. As the sun becomes strangely magnetized. Did you, did you catch that? Did you catch what I said? That this sunspot that blasted off all these M flares is not like the rest. In fact, it's a strangely magnetized perpendicular sunspot. Thank you, Dr. Tony Phillips, for breaking it down for us. And now I'll break it down for you, the listener. The new sunspot, AR3088, was emerging on the southern hemisphere, and its magnetic field was not normal. And what we mean by that is that the magnetic fields on these spots are supposed to be left to right, east and west, not north and south. And this one was magnetized perpendicular to the normal orientation. Did you just hear that thunder? <laughs> now, here is the map of the magnetic fields on AR-38. According to Hale's law, the sunspot magnetic pole should be arranged positive to negative. Positive on the left, negative on the right. Instead, on active region 3088, they were rotated 90 degrees, where positive was on top, blue, and negative, red, was on the bottom. And this is called a perpendicular sunspot, and it's quite rare, with the magnetic poles orthogonal to the sun's equator. So what's going on? Something unusual may be happening to the sun's magnetic dynamo beneath the surface, where the sunspot is growing. So we're going to keep a close eye on active region 38, 3088 as it's turned away from Earth and is currently blasting X-flares out in, onto Venus. <laughs> so Venus's tail is going to rapidly grow. And maybe Osiris Rex will get hammered as well. It's anybody's guess. But... The good news is it's not headed towards Earth. The bad news is it's a change in the sun. Something is happening with the sun's dynamo. And we've been in the grand solar minimum, and we're dropping deeper. The next cycle will drop us ever deeper. And we can clearly illustrate this to you on this graphic, which we will extrapolate at greater depth in a future podcast, where the Maunder minimum shows multiple cycles dropping down into a period of decades, up to 50 years of cold period when the sun is shut down. The sun recovers, and then we drop down into the Dalton minimum in 1790 with only 40 years of cold, and then back up into the modern maximum 
with a small blip down in the nine. 1900 realms for just about 20 years called the centennial minimum and you can see clearly where we are now cycle 24 is just as small as any cycle during any grand minimum the dalton the centennial and the maunder and cycle 25 is going to be just as weak and 26 even weaker are you prepared for what's coming we're not here to scare you we're here to prepare you, and that's a boom to knowledge. Proper prior planning prevents piss poor performance. None of these M flares is going to really affect Earth in any negative way. We could see some minor effects with them. We have a coronal hole that is about to couple with Earth, so the telemetry will spike. But we shouldn't see any power outages with this flurry of M flares. But when active region 3088 returns around the next turnaround in a few weeks, well, it might be boom time. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Share this with like-minded people. Become a hero. Be a Patreon. Support the work we do. A dollar a month. Commercial free viewing. That's a boom on all channels. Mm -hmm.